this is Ashish and you are watching TechForward. So in this video, I have uh, Echo Dot, ver the version 3.1 and this is a third generation and it has a lot of features which are packed inside this small Echo Dot. So in this video, we'll be seeing all of that in detail. So before moving forward, let's start with the unboxing. So this has a cute small box and you can see a lot of features which are written here and the pricing which here it shows is around 4499 so but i got a great deal with it i got an bulb uh, and with that i got this at around 2000 rupees and which was in sale and i'm pretty sure that i got a great deal about this in this so before moving forward let's first open this so you have a quick seal here you can open it actually i've already removed it so because i was very excited to see it so that is why so before after opening you will get the echo dot so let's keep it aside and i can tell you the feeling of this opening is because it has a great packing the box quality is very good so moving on forward here you can get the wires so here is the wire which you have to connect and the length wise it's great i mean the length is quite great so you can connect anywhere in your house with that we get uh, nothing much only documentation which we don't need so we'll throw it and nothing much only that's much we have so now this is the echo dot so it looks so cute so small and it has a power packed speaker i mean i'll show you let's open it wow i mean opening is always a great thing so here is an echo dot you can see it clearly how it is so it has a mesh like cotton mesh so it i mean it feels quality and it has a quite a weight to it and it feels great so and we have this it's around uh, 15 watt adapter and we'll connect this and we'll see what happens so guys i have connected it i have already did the settings and you have to just download alexa app which is on your phone and once it gets on here it's i mean it's can you see it's so beautiful it looks and i mean i'm quite hyped about this product and let's see how it goes and how it works so it is pairing up it is connecting to wi-fi once you get everything set up on your phone it starts connecting it so it looks very beautiful and we'll listen the voices too we will listen the commands and what it can do so the first thing you can ask is alexa what's the time the time is 1 58 pm happy monday Alexa, you're good. That's really nice. Thanks. So, here yeah, it can handle a lot of features like you can connect your smart bulbs, your smart appliances, and Alexa enabled any of the smart devices which you can connect it directly. It has a power pack mm -hmm. speaker. You can easily use it for your music pl playback and other. And the best thing has is you get and audio jack here so using this audio jack you can just connect to any of the device which don't have which is not a smart or you can it only has an aux cable you can directly connect it and you can play your devices here the only drawback which i see with this is if we compare it to google assistant is it doesn't has a connectivity features as that great as the google assistant has because google assistant has a lot of features like directly you can uh, cast your devices and which is very important in these days so you cannot cast your speakers but you can definitely connect it, connect it via bluetooth and you can play any of the songs so there is one little extra step which gets added to connecting the devices is compared to google's amazon uh, google's home mini or the home so only that is the only difference which i can see and the speaker is great so i'll play the music here alexa Play copyright free music on Spotify. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Okay, it's not sure about it. Alexa, play music on Spotify. 
Here is Spotify. Alexa, play the weekend on Spotify. Play songs by the weekend from Spotify. Alexa, bring volume to ten. So the best thing about this I like is it has uh, buttons. So what the best thing about buttons is is like it's very clickable and if you'll see it can listen to this. This button is its home button or you can say it's an Alexa button. Once you'll click this, it will listen to you. This is uh, volume down, volume up, and this is to mute the audio. And this is a very very helpful feature because there are a lot of security concerns, lot of privacy concerns about this, but this buttons helps a lot and after enabling this you alexa cannot hear anything from whatever you say say i'll uh, give an example as this is muted i can say alexa alexa it's not listening to me and once i click it here again now it starts listening to me alexa see it listens to me and the best thing what i like is there are four mics up, uh, in the, on this device so four mics are with each button so wherever you say it will light up of that section. See, if I'll say from this side, this side, Alexa, it glows the button off here. If I'll say from this side, Alexa, sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, so here are the, some of the features which are listed here. You can uh, book an Ola, Uber, or you can f order in food and music also. But only the drawback which I saw here is it doesn't support YouTube. So actually supporting YouTube is a big thing for some people and for me I have a lot of different apps which are shuffled to so I don't need that much of support of YouTube but some do and if you do then this is not for you. So after that it also has a inbuilt radio so you can say just Alexa and play all India radio so it can start on radio it is already listened to me I'll mute it first. So after that, radio from so it will start a radio there. So overall, this is a uh, good speaker come smart device, and in the price range which I got was two thousand. So I think you won't get anything better than this. And I would highly recommend if you're trying, if you're looking for this to buy because its speaker is top notch speaker. I will bet you because the speaker of this size has a lot of power pumped inside this. Me, I'll give it around uh, 7 in 10 in terms of mini speakers and the uh, smart uh, smartness of the speaker compared to Google Assistant I would give it around 5 because it is not that smart as smart as Google Alex, uh, Google's Assistant so guys this was a short and simple review about Amazon Alexa dot version 3 or generation 3